Long, long ago, in ancient India, there lived a king called Pandu, who was the ruler of Hastinapur. He had five sons, and the eldest one among them was Yudhishthira. The cousins of the Pandavas were called the Kauravas and there were constant quarrels and misunderstandings between the Pandavas and the Kauravas. The Kauravas were jealous of the Pandavas and they developed a deep sense of hatred towards the Pandavas as they emerged successful in all their efforts. Adjacent to the city of Hastinapur was a dense jungle called Dvaitavana. It was a beautiful forest with wild animals, continuous chirping of birds and it was filled with the pleasant fragrance of wildflowers. In this forest lived a highly pious Brahmin who had a pair of sticks which were his most precious possession. He used to rub them to produce fire for yadna and worship. When the sticks were not in use, he used to hang them up on a tree. One day, a deer came to the tree and playfully hit the sticks. The sticks got entangled in its antlers and the deer ran away with it. Oh my God! What shall I do now? How will I perform my puja without the sticks? The Brahmin tried to catch the deer, but the deer ran away and vanished. What will I do now? Who can get the sticks back to me? I can approach the Pandavas. They will certainly help me. During this time, the Pandava princes Yudhishthira, Bhima, Arjuna, Nakula and Sahadeva lost their kingdom to their greedy cousins and were living in exile in the forest along with their wife Draupadi. The Brahman approached the Pandavas for help. Welcome Brahman. Is there anything we can do for you? Oh mighty king, only you can help me. What happened? I had a pair of sticks which could create fire for performing pujas just by rubbing them. A deer has accidentally taken the stick. Please help me get the sticks back. Do not worry. We will track down the deer and get your sticks back. The Pandavas set out to hunt for the deer and soon found some footprints of the deer and followed them. At last, far away from their hermitage, they found the deer with the sticks entangled in its antlers. Look, it's the deer! Arjuna shoots an arrow, but the deer vanishes immediately. Yudhishthira, it has vanished! How surprising! It will be somewhere nearby. Let us have some water and then move on. I am really hungry. I too need water. Nakula, climb up the tree and see if there is any lake nearby. Brother, there is a lake nearby. I will fetch some water for all. Nakula approaches the lake to drink water and suddenly a voice stopped him. Wait! This lake belongs to me. You may drink from it after you answer my questions. What is this? No one is here. Let me have the water and find out later. Nakula drank the water and immediately fell dead. Sahadeva, go find out what has happened to Nakula. Sahadeva approached the lake and he too met with the same fruit. 
Arjuna and Bhima later approached the lake and without listening to the instructions of the voice, drank the water from the lake and fell dead. Yudhishthira was the last to approach the lake in search of his brothers. He was terribly shocked to see his brothers lying dead on the ground. Oh, invincible Arjuna, mighty Bhima, Nakula and Sahadeva, my children, what happened to all of you? There is none that can equal you in strength and valor. There are no weapons and no sign of struggle. What will I do now? Yudhishthira went to the pond to quench the thirst and a voice stopped him. I am the grain who owns this lake. If you drink without answering my questions, you too will die like others. My brothers could not be killed by Asuras and Devas. Tell me who you are. And Yaksha appeared before him. Oh Yaksha, ask your questions and I shall try to answer them. What makes one a true Brahmin? Birth, conduct or learning? It is his behavior that makes one a Brahmin. What surprises you most? Day after day countless people die, yet the living wishes to live forever. How do you become rich? How do you become happy? If you are bent in lust, you will be rich. If you are bent in desire, you will be happy. Your answers have pleased me. I can make one of your brothers to regain their life. Whom do you want? Nakula, my lord. Why Nakula? Why not Bhima or Arjuna? Nakula is only a stepbrother. My father had two wives, Kunti and Madri. I, the son of Kunti, am alive. Let one son of Madri too be alive. I am pleased with your righteousness. All your brothers shall come to life. My lord, you cannot be a Yaksha. Please reveal yourself. The next moment, Yama, the lord of death, appeared before him, by whose grace Yudhishthira was born to Kunti. Yudhishthira, I am Yama. I wanted to test you. I took away the Brahmin sticks in the form of deer to draw you to this spot. Here are the sticks. Ask me for whatever you want. Lord, may I never succumb to lust and anger. May I always be devoted to virtue and righteousness. You are an embodiment of Lord Dharma. You will always be noble. Yama vanished and the Pandavas returned the stick to the Brahman. I shall ever be grateful to you, my lord. Thank you. Yudhishthira and his brothers leave for the hermitage. Thus, Yudhishthira proved that it was not enough to be valiant and intelligent, but must be wise and truthful too. Knowledge must mellow into wisdom in human lives.